Hello my friends, Coach Tom here with iPlayTennis.com. It's another tennis terminology day and today the term is ball tolerance. So you guys might hear me say this on a couple of different videos, the idea of ball tolerance. One of the big things that I push in this game is the reduction of unforced errors, right? At a recreational level we don't win a lot of matches, we actually lose them by making unforced errors. And so ball tolerance, what I mean by ball tolerance is basically your ability to stay in a point longer. How many times can you rally back and forth? What is your tolerance in terms of that length of rally, your ball tolerance, right? So if I've got a ball tolerance, and it's not a term I would use like that, but you'll hear me say it, but basically what it means is if I say you've got a high ball tolerance, what that means is that you can rally basically more than I can, right? You're more comfortable staying in a longer rally. You can hit 10, 12, 14 times where maybe I can only hit three or four. So ball tolerance, you guys, it's really important in this game. I want you guys to be able to stay out here and rally really comfortably for five, six, 10, 15 balls because that gives you more options. That gives you a little bit more advantage over somebody who has to kind of pull the trigger a little bit more quickly, right? When you've got a higher ball tolerance, you actually are a little bit more likely to be offensive because you can wait for the right opportunity as opposed to forcing an opportunity that maybe isn't right, but you know you've got to go for because you might not be able to hit many more shots without missing. Okay, so ball tolerance, it's your ability to stay in a rally longer.